so finally made it this is week one this is the first video in a kind of mini series that i'm doing to just like take a little journey from well this whole kickstarter process really so i'm going to take you back to the reason why i started the denim to begin with and i'm just like this project overall um from developing the the new blend of denim to finding the manufacturers to hopefully a successful Kickstarter launch uh, and everything in between. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Boom! Okay, well, cut it. Cool. So the reason I started denim, I went for denim, was I felt like I needed something very unique uh, on the market. I needed, I felt like, and to reach the place where, like, it was doing okay seasonally, um, but when I was launching the t-shirts and the hoodies and stuff, um, I was asking myself, why would I want to buy from Ante? Like, what is so special about these t-shirts? At the end of the day, the t-shirts and hoodies. Um, and we also, I also, like, full transparency, it was, it was tough to sell on advertising like this is tough for for me especially as an advertiser to like find a unique selling point for a t-shirt and to be able to help scale so um i was i really like took took a deep dive into what i feel like i needed um myself to begin with one of them was like backpacks and i went up that dot down all that route to like a nice practical backpack and the other one was um trousers I could never find a pair of trousers that, that really fit me well and didn't break. So like this this is like this is classic. This actually just happened um, last night. Uh, this is one of my pair of denim. I've had them for just over a year probably. And look at what happened last night. So like I have so many every single pair of denim that I've ever had rips in this area here. And doesn't matter what I try and do, like not, like I don't squat on them, I don't work out on them, like just normal use. They always, always um, like break there and it's super annoying. So this happened to, to my black pair denim just before this, like probably four or five months ago and again here now. So this was the thinking behind creating a nice pair of denim that doesn't do this. And so many of my other friends have the same problems. The, there's like the, the stitching needs to be reinforced, the composition needs to be different, they need to have a little bit more stretch in them um, for everyday use, so for them to last. So that was the thinking behind it. And then in January, I really got, January of last year now, um, I really got thinking into you know where and how I do this. So the first thing to do, what I had to do was I had to find a um, sort of a designer that can put together a tech back for me to be able to send to a manufacturer. And so I did, uh, I went with a, a very reputable uh, kind of design agency, uh, but their, des their tech pack was very different to what they typically do. They typically do active wear, and they do active wear designs for companies like Alpha Elite and uh, just like big name brands like that. Um, the tech pack is just like a, just like a pack with all the measurements of the denim. Like what, what, like what the measurement, all the measurements of the denim is gonna be in there. So basically like an A to Z instruction for the factory to be able to follow step by step exactly, you know, from what kind of stitching, the width of the stitching, the color of the stitching, the material, uh, the pocket sizes, the colors, the what, everything um, will be in that tech pack. So um, yeah, so they provided us with what I thought to be a good tech pack initially, because I didn't really know too much if what was a good one and what was a bad one. Um, so I got a sample made. We, we wanted to go with like a super sustainable uh, manufacturer and these were one of the most sustainable manufacturers that we can find um, in, in Turkey. These were based in Turkey. So we went with them uh, but, and the quality was there, but unfortunately they did not have our um, like I, they, they didn't have our composition that we were after, they couldn't source it uh, and they didn't have like the mills close to them to be able to use. So 
Um, but I asked them to send what they had and the best and closest thing they had for now, just so I could scope out their um, <clears throat> quality and just so it, I can just get going on the sizing of them to make sure the sizing were okay. Anyway, I got these um, back. So this was the first sample I got in. What I should mention with this as well, I'll take a seat here, is like I didn't get a lot of questions from the tech pack. They took the tech pack and they said, yeah, perfect, everything's great in the tech pack. And um, didn't think anything of it. When they came back, they, they came back looking like this. The sizing was just a bit off. Uh, you can see like we put the trims in, Antir's logo is on the back pins here. I'm not sure if you can see. Um, but the finishing, like, can you see that? Um, the finishing came off really well. They did like a good job on finishing them to a high, high standard, but the fit was off and Honestly, the overall weight of the jean is very lightweight and not really what I, I was going for. Um, they do stretch. This is a two-way stretch. So you can see here, like, it stretches this way, but it does not stretch, like, lengthways. You know, it doesn't stretch this way, only this way. Um, so that was that. Um, the sizing was a bit off. The pocket sizing was a bit too small on this one, the material needed changing, but overall it wasn't terrible. Uh, it's just unfortunate that, that they could not, you know, give us the composition and the weights that we needed. So we had to look elsewhere. That's then when I took on, um, I went away from those, I, I needed to make some adjustments to those tech packs, um, to the sizing. So I went to, well, and found actually, a London-based uh, denim designer called Claire. Um, and she then had a look at the tech packs and pretty much said like what are these tech packs this is not how we do denim tech packs which was kind of su surprising um so essentially the first tech packs was thrown out the window and we redesigned them um and then they came back um we used another manufacturer that claire knows that she's been working on that had that you know um a few big name brands come come from this factory as well Get, get their denim made, so um, yeah, we thought we'd go with those. And you know, this was now when we get these. This is in September, then is this September? No, sorry, this was only recently. Now, um, I'll make some clips on when these arrived and whatnot. First samples for our new manufacturers just came in, very, very excited. Let's open it together. Very, very excited for this. So, these, they only sent these out yesterday, so they came out really, really fast. Okay, where do you begin opening them? Oh. Alright, so. Well, this is exciting, isn't it? These are the washes. These are the different colored washes that I had requested. Uh, this is the all black version. These are the indigo styles and potential color, like it might not be a color, but this is just really the beginning. This is, well, I'm going to try these on now, clearly, but you can see it came out very well. So the back patch came out really cool. I'm actually pretty impressed with them. They've got a nice stretch to them as well, you can see. Yeah, pretty happy. So this will be the all black one, the solid black. This will be a washed black color, so more like a gray color. But first impressions of this, I might just go for a lighter wash, like a more gray. I think it's, too, it's a bit too similar to the black maybe, what do you think? make it a bit more gray, a bit more closer to like what I'm currently wearing. I don't know, but you know, it's all just testing and figuring it out, you know, so. Uh, and obviously a couple of washes of the Indigo as well for maybe future collections, but. Um, these came in, uh, these are now a four-way stretch. So this is what we call like a body stretch. These, these will stretch lengthways and horizontally, like, two ways, I'll make to show you on the, the blue a bit better. So it stretches this way and it stretches this way. 
Uh, but the problem with this was the it's very tough to get the shrinkage right and when we got them the fit was off so um, yeah that it's just such a different kind of material than than the two-way and we struggled with it anyway uh, the problem we had with this manufacturer surprisingly and fully transparent once again is the finishing just wasn't there like I was very surprised and shocked into like how poor some of the finishing was on it like you can see like this here, like this has never been worn and it's not great for a, a manufacturer to send a kind of, you know, a sample to us with this low quality and, and it was an instant red flag. I mean, the fit is off as well on this. You know, I, I then measured what should have been on the tech pack with what I actually received and some of the, the, the critical measurements were a tiny bit off. Um, and so that wasn't great, so anyway, um, that's that. We've got two samples at the moment made, um, and we're now doing the third. Obviously, I'm not so sure if they've seen the branding, so we changed the branding a little bit from the first sample. Uh, we had it a bit more minimal, like this is the nipple of it's just simple anti supply co. Do you see that? Uh, maybe not. Like maybe I'll just... Anyway, I'll, put, I'll put, a, put a, you know, a B-roll up or whatever you call it um, to, to show the branding, but we've got the nipple rivet there. Um, we've got the anter just here on the inside with like a Jackron label. Uh, the first sample had a fully leather, like a proper leather back patch, uh, but we decided against it. We went actually for a more sustainable, like it's like a paper, uh, and actually Levi's uses this exact um, paper as well. So um, this is, yeah, it's just made of paper. And it looks really good. Again, the problem with this uh, manufacturer, like they couldn't even get the line straight on it, you know. So it's quite disappointing. Um, but it's just part of the process of finding the right manufacturer at the end of the day. So um, we made some adjustments to this one. Like the pockets on here were just way too. Like, I could barely get my hand in there, and we need deep pockets. So, like, this is me, like, putting my hands in here, and, like, just can't get them in. Um, the another thing that we're removing, you might be able to see in the blue one, this is the accent of Anter's logo. If you see that, that's the top of Anter's logo that we put on the coin pockets and also the back of the denim. Like that. But we're actually going to remove it from the coin pocket. The point, the coin pocket in here is also too small. Um, this is the women's, by the way, so it's going to be a tiny bit smaller. But yeah, for the men's, like we need it a lot bigger. We need deeper pockets on the women's and the and the men's. Um, some of the stitching obviously will be improved. And what also we're going to do is we're going to feature a kind of like almost a contrast um, line, a contrast stitch inside. So we'll have, you know, Anter's going through a big rebrand right now. So we're going to have like a plum or like almost like a red uh, stitch go inside all the way and on some other features. So essentially, I want to be able to see and spot a pair of Anter denim wherever I go. So um, we might have like this kind of tiny stitch here in red. Uh, you be able to see it maybe probably, but um, or just something that will stand out. Uh, what else is changing? The waistband is going to get a bit, bit deeper um, and just the overall fit uh, and also the inside leg. The gusset as well is something we've been working on. The gusset on the first one was pretty well done uh, but on the second sample we got from the new manufacturer um, the gusset like, kind of wasn't there. Uh, it wasn't big enough and they fit it weirdly, uh, didn't they? What's the point of a gusset, just for people who don't know? Um, the gusset really is just like an added panel. This is what we're trying to um, like get rid of. You mind passing me that thing? Yeah. So hopefully, we're having a panel the gusset panel installed. It's gonna like eliminate this problem, you know. And because a gusset is what exactly? It's just like a panel. There's a panel, an added panel that goes, maybe you won't see it on here, but you might see it on the, the blue one. 
you can see it here. So it's essentially like a panel that's fitted inside the kind of crotch area um, that allows a bit more free movement. Uh, and we reinforce the stitching here as well. So hopefully we'll eliminate that issue going forward. That is the main purpose. And do all jeans come with a gusset or? No, not, no, no. I don't know. I, I know maybe one or two brands that have gussets, but they're not very common at all. Um, so yeah, and the stretch in them as well is obviously very, very important to be able to like, be able to bend down and not have them rip on you. So um, that's that. I'm also like one other reason that I'm starting to do these performance denim is that, you know, I need jeans that can fit me. I'm six foot seven and I need a pair of, <laughs> I need a pair of denim that actually will like, I can fit into. And so the inside leg is very, very important. And I've never really had a pair of denim that actually fits me right. Um, I think these, well, even these are a bit short on me. Um, but the, like, I have to wear them with, like, boots, you know? I've got to wear <laughs> boots with them. I can't wear, like, a, you know, a low, low-rise shoe because um, they just look like a bit disco flood. So um, that, that's another, like, really important reason why I decided to create denim. Um, and I think a lot of people have the same problem. Like, the goal, like, the end goal would be to have maybe more than one fit. So this, this fit for the men's that we're heading for, uh, or trying to get, is like a tapered slash slim fit. That's the, that's the women's. So like this is like a tapered slash slim fit. So it's not gonna be super skinny. It's not a skinny jean, but it's gonna be more of like a tapered fit. Um, and you know, for the women's, it's gonna be more of a high rise skinny. That's the goal for the first one. But the goal obviously is to expand on those fits and hopefully have um, a relaxed fit for the men's and women's. But also one of the things that I think is super important for, for me to do with this um, range is to also get kind of an athletic fit, I was thinking, for just like men, women with just like more like just super strong uh, athletic fit thighs you know if they're just like bodybuilders rugby players whatever um just have a fit for them because I, I know a few of my friends that have just kind of larger quads and just they need a fit like they, there's not a fit out in the market for them like they always struggle so um i think that's super important i made a tiktok actually recently it was showing like what the people like actually look out for in a pair of denim and for the women like common a common comment I was to get was like to add a bit more uh, belt loops in the back. So when they pull it up, sometimes the belt kind of slips away from the uh, the denim a little bit. So that's something I didn't think of, and I will put some think thought into it. I might just add another uh, belt loop in the back for the women's, uh, just to stop that from happening. Um, but yeah, that's that. I'll just there you go. Is that a bit better? Was a bit dark enough, a bit bright. Um, one other thing that's super important for for me, I'll just go back to like what we're changing for for num num sample number three here, and I'm just looking at it right now. Is just like how it feels when you put your hand in your pocket. Some jeans like it feels like really rough, and this was like a really rough cotton. I don't know, like it wasn't the nice um, kind of feel when you put your hand in your pocket. It felt like you were just like grabbing onto a bit of sand, and. Um, so, so what's important for us to have a super, super, uh, just like soft feel when you put your hand in your pocket. Um, and also like the presentation of it all, how is it going to be packaged? So we've been thinking about how it, having kind of a, a pouch. So one second here. Okay, sorry folks. Yeah, so another thing I've been like trying to sample is how is this going to be presented when, uh, when people buy it? And one, one idea was to have it come in kind of a cloth bag uh, or yeah, just maybe a bit bigger. This is just like a sample that I picked up, um, but something like this, maybe not this color, even maybe something like black with the logo here. Um, this is the manufacturer we use for to get all our kind of branding and stuff done for like 
um, the nipple rivets and, and the button. So uh, they sent us this just as a kind of sample. It could be cool, it could be different because most like branding is so important and like the customer experience is something that we really need to work on as well just the feeling that you get when you receive one of our packages through the mail well you need to feel good it doesn't want to come like in a plastic bag i feel like it's just cheap um so have it something that we can reuse have it something compostable i'm not too sure yet but the thinking right now is that it comes in a similar bag to this that you can reuse um in the future so that's the plan um, timelines right now are feeling like uh, we need to th these have gone off the, the latest tech packs now have been done uh, and sent to the third manufacturer so hopefully third time lucky once we get those back we'll probably do like another couple of edits just quickly but we should have th the samples from the third manufacturer in the next couple of weeks here and once we get those like I said, make a couple of adjustments maybe. What is going to be tough to get right, obviously, and what takes a bit of time, is to get the wash. So we're thinking right now of going, just go here, like solid black. I think solid black is essential. So we'll go solid black. We'll go with a washed black similar to this kind of gray. Uh, something similar to this. And then we'll go maybe like, like a clean rinse. And then just like a blue, I'm not too sure on the, the wash and the blue just yet. But anyway, there's a lot of things to do with the washes um, and stuff like that. But obviously, number one priority right now is to get the fits right. Move over there. But I don't know, there's, there's going to be obviously more that come out. But we have to think, you know, there's minimum order quantities that we have to reach. Um, obviously, having a black is great. I think that's one I would wear. I'd mostly prefer like black and grey denim versus like indigo but um, black and washed black I think are going to be for sure in the line but then it's having it's deciding between two or three washes then for the indigo which is tough because everybody has different tastes clean rinse is something that I feel like is a classic um, yeah and I mean I don't want to have like too much I think the first sample here just go up and down here like had you can see like quite a bit of like whiskering and fading i don't i don't mind the fading i just don't like that much whisk like so this is what they call the whiskering of the denim and i i, I feel like it's a bit much so we didn't do as much kind of uh whiskering on the second sample for the women's so you can see like this very, very minimal whiskering there, uh, if any at all. Um, I feel like it's, it's just a better look, to be honest. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at with that. The purpose of these jeans is, is just like to have a, a technical a lifestyle denim that you can wear if you're going to work, if you're going for a short walk, like on a trail, that they'll be comfortable, they won't rip on you, and they'll just be dependable denim. Like, they'll be a comfortable, dependable, Denim, and, and that's the goal here. Um, throughout this kind of series that we're doing right now, you know, episode two will be launching next week and so forth. Um, I'll just be documenting the journey on the updates. Um, I'll be diving into why we decided Kickstarter in the next video, stuff like that. Um, but and then I might just do like a few giveaways here and there, uh, stuff like that. Uh, and yeah, just it's going to be an exciting journey. Like I said in my last video, like this is a journey you you'll see the ups you'll see the downs and you know at the end of the day it's it's we're, we're all learning so um if it fails it'll be a disaster if not great um but, <laughs> yeah that's it um subscribe to the channel like this video and um yeah see you in the next one peace <laughs>